Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. In part 3 of this video series, I talked about package.json file. And then I mentioned that I'll be creating a separate video on package-lock.json file. But before we move on, let us check the npm version. So the command for that is npm space hyphen v. In my case, I get 6.14.8 back. Why I'm checking this? See, in version 5, npm introduced the package-log.json file. This package-log.json file is automatically generated for any operations where npm modifies either the node modules tree or package.json. To understand this file, in the terminal, let's run the command npm i express. So, package-log.json file is created. Let's open it up. So hey, we see a lot of things in here. We only asked npm to install express. See, a project might have hundreds of dependencies, each of those with a hundred others. To keep your mind away from dependency hell, npm was created so that with some simple commands, you could install and manage these dependencies and hardly ever have to think about them. So it contains the exec tree that was generated when we installed express. Basically, it is a large list of each dependency listed in your package.json, the specific version that should be installed, the location of the module, or the URI from where it's downloaded, a hash that verifies the integrity of the module, and list of packages it requires, and a list of dependencies. The goal of this file is that subsequent install of Express in this project will generate identical dependency trees regardless of intermediate dependency updates. To understand this better, we have to understand semantic versioning in NPM. So version is made up of three parts. Let's say a.b.c. A being the major, b is minor, and c is the patch version. So pa a change in patch represents a bug fix that doesn't break anything. A change in minor represents a new functionality that does not break anything. It's still backward compatible. A change in major version represents a large change that breaks compatibility. So, if you write like this, tilde 0.13.0, so you want to only update patch releases. 0.13.1 is okay, but 0.14 is not. If you write this caret symbol, and then say 0.13.0, you want to update patch and minor, 0.13.1 and 0.14.0 and so on. If you write 0.13.0, that is the exact version that will be used always. So we don't commit to git our node modules as you know, because they are generally huge. And when we or other contributors try to replicate the project on another machine by using the npm install command, if we specify the till syntax and a patch release of a package has been released, that one is going to be installed. Same for minor release. Let's see some examples. So in this example, let's understand this. So project is set up on machine A and this project has a dependency on XYZ module. And this is the version that got downloaded when this project was set up first. And by default, you always get the get symbol when you install a dependency. So let's say after some time, one of the peer has decided to replicate this project. So the person is going to download the project A on machine B. And in the package.json, we have the entry for XYZ. So all this person has to do is run the command npm i. But now the minor and the patch versions are updated. So because of this CAD symbol, now this is the version of dependency that is being uploaded to machine B. Another case. In this case, the direct dependencies are not updated. However, the indirect dependencies are being updated. So our original project and the newly initialized projects are actually different. Even if a patch or minor release should not introduce breaking changes, we all know bugs can slide in. To solve these issues, 
package-log.json came to rescue. The package-log.json sets your currently installed version of each package in stone and npm will use those exact versions when running npm install. Therefore, package-log.json file needs to be committed to git repository so it can be fetched by other people and that ensures a consistent install and compatible dependencies. So in package.json, if we look at the versioning for express, we have this caret sign. But in package-log.json, this is the exact version that is being mentioned. Therefore, whosoever downloads this project will always get this version downloaded onto their machine. I hope now the goal of package-log.json file is clear to you. Thank you so much.